Behind me, you can see this rover. Okay, this one is called Bruno. It's a prototype for a rover that's going to go to Mars in about two years' time, summer of 2020. And that's currently called ExoMars. Now, we want to give ExoMars a name. So the purpose of this morning is to launch a naming competition for the ExoMars rover. The most amazing discovery is to identify signs of either past or even present life on Mars. Now, we're talking about, you know, organic molecules or compounds or, uh, you know, bacteria for example maybe evidence of single cell life forms we're not talking about intelligent life forms but even so it would tell us an awful lot about uh, how life evolved on our own planet here on earth by studying Mars so this rover is going to drill down under the surface of Mars into the permafrost and look at water ice where those signs of life may be present our rover will be almost fully autonomous and be driven that way most of the time the reason is because the time delay between Earth and Mars can be as much as 20 minutes. So it's either not safe or not particularly efficient to drive it by a remote control. Instead, you want the rover to make the decisions about where's safe and where's not. And that's primarily what this prototype is designed for. So it starts with the cameras at the top of the mast. They see in 3D in much the same way we do. That allows the rover to identify where the rocks and the slopes are in front of it. And if any are outside its capability, the rock is too big, the slope is too steep, the rover will identify that and drive round it uh, on its way to the target it's trying to reach. 